Hello everybody and welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. So what we need to do is go and speak to Steve because Steve has got a quest for us that needs to be done. Now at the moment we don't actually have a clue what this particular quest is. Um, also this spreader should probably be put away. Mm, maybe later. Anyway, yes, what we need to do is go over to his farm. Where did I put the tractor anyway? <laughs> I've lost the tractor. Um, it can't be too far away. I am probably stood right next to it or something. Ah, did I put it in a barn? I probably did do. Well, we'll get the tractor going and uh, we'll drive over to Steve's farm and go from there. No, I did not put it in a barn, although it does need to go in a barn. It was sat right next to the combine. I have no idea why I didn't notice it. So, yeah, this can just go down here somewhere. It doesn't have to be undercover. It's been outside for the past century. <laughs> probably not quite that long, uh, but it might as well have been. We don't have any seed here, do we? No. When we do buy some seed from the agricultural store, it should appear here. We then reverse the drill into here, and I think you refill it that way. So maybe, actually, that is a better place to keep it. How'd you put it in there? It's a very fitting place. Oh, it's a tough thing to reverse, too. Okay. Oh, struggling to get up the incline there. There we go, it says magazine. Right, see, so you can... We do... Oh, we still have some... We've got some wheat already. That's me getting excited. I, I jump on my words when I get excited. Yeah, so we can actually uh, plant the wheat as soon as we have cultivated the fields. We'll be doing that fairly soon. But Steve requires our assistance, and this is good because in return we get the trailer. And the trailer might be used for moving bales as well. It is a grain trailer, but who knows? We might be able to put bales inside it. Now Steve is, well it was 2.2 kilometres away, which at 23 kilometres per hour is quite a long way to go. Probably the furthest I've ever driven actually on this game. It is right at the bottom of the map. I did show you in the previous episode, but for those who aren't aware, just here. Talk to Steve as he has something which he can exchange with us. But he's obviously going to want something in return, most likely repairing greenhouses and all that kind of thing. I'm a little bit, um, a little bit done with the greenhouses at the moment because we've done quite a few of them. If it was repairing something else or doing some ploughing or something for them, it wouldn't be so bad. Although actually, yeah, we did do the ploughing yesterday. I don't know, just something in the field, just something which we haven't done for a while. Still 1.3 kilometres away. In fact, this is a fairly, fairly barren area. There's not too much here. He lives well out of the way of everybody else. There is one of the building down there, which I think is the mill, where you can sell the wheat and possibly the barley as well. So we really are venturing to different areas on this map. I haven't really managed to get a sense of scale with this map. It, I think it is massive. It certainly feels it when you're doing 23k, but if we had a faster machine, maybe even the pickup, well, the, the truck, it's not really a pickup truck, um, that will likely do, I don't know, 50, 60. So you should really be able to fly around the map, not literally, of course, but <laughs> fly, uh, drive much faster. So maybe if we could drive from one end of the map to the other, it won't feel that big, who knows? But it, at the moment, it certainly feels huge. Ah, right, there is the mill. You can see it just between those two trees. He is before the mill. Um, in fact, you can see where he is because I've put the marker on him. But yes, it isn't quite as far. In fact, you can even see his house from here. Surprising, it's amazing that is 800 metres away. It seems closer. Ooh, a bit of water down there, we can do some fishing. At least you will be able to do some fishing. Is there anybody there? Usually there is somebody wandering about doing something, but they tend to just tell you to go away. Probably because the dialogue is still work in progress. At least, I think it is. Right, so here we are, 200 metres away, and that's the sea. Wow, I, I don't think I've been to the sea before on this game. Yeah, he actually lives in a pretty decent area. Oh, I have been to the sea, yes, once before. Just the once. Hmm, there's a greenhouse over there which needs repair, but it doesn't look to be the place we're going to. I think I'll keep following the road, just so this works properly. Uh, the quest has appeared. 
So, yes, I really do want to get this whole grain trailer. There's two reasons for the grain trailer. One is obviously for the grain. We have quite a bit of wheat to sell. So that is required. Oh, actually, that's my marker, so it probably is here. He is somewhere. Yes, I should think we have to repair this greenhouse. Which won't really be anything new. I'm going to get out here, actually. Get off the tractor. And run around and see if he's there. Hello, can I help you? Sorry, lost my train of thought. I anyway. I am around here looking for John. Interested in farming machinery. HMM, sounds good. These buildings are falling apart and I know nothing about construction. I have an old grain trailer I can spare if you help me. Interested? Yes. Sure, I'll do it for the trailer. Yeah, so what I was saying was the grain uh, would be for the trailer, obviously, but also possibly the bales if they fit inside. Right, okay, so we do indeed have to fix this, but it is a fairly small greenhouse. It's still big to most people. I mean, I'd consider it as a big greenhouse, but compared to what we have done, three greenhouses together, it is fairly simple. So hopefully it isn't going to take too long. I've jump cut it. I'll just keep returning every now and then just to update you. Just so you know that I'm not cheating, but I don't even know any cheats for the game anyway. So there is no real way of cheating as far as I'm aware. There are probably some kind of contour command you can put in and make it fix everything, but I wouldn't have a clue where to start with that. You are really very hungry. That tree bark over there looks pretty tasty. Yeah, I've, I've had a gnaw at it and it wasn't that good. Okay, for those who are confused, I am too. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to be taking that literally. Like, there is some tree which produces some edible bark or something. Um, but I, I think it's a joke. Like, we are seriously hungry. Let's eat an egg. Hopefully it's hard-boiled or something. And some milk. There we go. Anyway, progress is good here. Keep cracking on. And if you ever come across an edible tree, I'll let you know. Okay, everything downstairs is done. So all we have to do now is repair the roof and then I'm hoping it's just gonna be one more building and we'll be uh, good to take the trailer. Not that I've seen it yet, actually. It should be here. Uh, where's your trailer? There's my tractor. I don't know. If it's not here somewhere, then it could potentially be a problem. But I haven't really looked for it yet, so in a second, we will uh, go and have a hunt for it before we continue with the next building. But even if it hasn't spawned, we still have to complete the job because otherwise the next quest won't spawn, it won't appear, and it would just be, uh, well, the end of the game, really, because I suppose you could actually manage without the quests because you could plough, cultivate, and drill your own fields and breed your cows and hens and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, getting machinery could be quite tricky. And I don't know what happens after you have actually acquired all of the equipment. I don't know if you start to get paid money instead of uh, machinery in return or if the quests just finish. We're going to have to wait and see. But certainly to begin with, we have to do a lot of um, jobs which require repairing buildings in return for machinery. Which, as I said before, in one of the early episodes, it is a good way of doing it because obviously we don't have any money. So getting machinery for free in return for favours seems pretty decent. Right, okay, we're getting hungry again. That is the roof done. Just one more thing to do, and that is to stand on a table and do this end of it, and then the other end, and we're done. Okay, and then over here, we may have to... Oh, we can actually reach. That's good. Good. No. Okay, I've missed something. Most likely a con piece of concrete somewhere. Or maybe something on the roof. Oh, aha, there it is. Right. Repair. Quest update. Fix the barn. Right, first though. The trailer. There it is. I can see the trailer. Fantastic. Good. It means we're not doing this for nothing. Let's just bounce over here as we do. Um, yeah, it's an old trailer, but still, it should be... Uh... That's interesting. That quest just finished itself. That's that is good. That's the glitched quest, which didn't complete, and now it just randomly has done. 
Well, that is good news. Uh, it's also very bizarre. Anyway, yes, that is uh, that is all very good. So let's just go over here. Uh, this is the barn, I think. Yeah, it is. And we'll just very quickly get some new bricks put into here. It shouldn't take too much work. In fact, I think the barns are much easier and faster than the greenhouses. The greenhouses are actually uh, fairly demanding when it comes to repair work. It wears our hammer out. And one door in here. I think it was more the roof, actually. Now, because that other quest is now completed, there should be another one to take its place. So as soon as we've done this, uh, well, if, as soon as we've done this, there should be two quests to appear. If there are any more quests, that is. If there isn't any more quests, then I suppose we just let loose to then work on our own fields, gaining money until we can afford our own machinery, new machinery. And actually, to be fair, I probably have uh, had enough now of the repair work anyway, so I think it would be good if we could be let loose doing our own stuff. There's nothing stopping us from doing it now. We, we could just forget about the quests entirely and then see how far we can get. But without a trailer, it, it would be quite tricky. It would be possible because you can sell the grain directly from the combine, as we've done. But it would be fairly slow. Okay, roof. Uh, no, no the, the roof doesn't want to be done, apparently. At least from that's what I can gather. There is this piece here. Yeah, these barns for some reason don't ever have their roofs repaired. So we've got the main door. A wall here. And then is that it? Is that the job completed? In return for a trailer? No. Ah, a few exterior walls as well. And then, that might be it. It is. So we have completed Steve's job, which was fairly effortless, really. Everything looks much better. Good to hear that. Thank you. Now, you may take the trailer. It's yours. Thanks. See you around. Thanks, Steve. And that job completed successfully, too. As soon as we have taken the trailer, it should... Um, all update. There are no other jobs here at the moment, but that's probably because Steve's job is still kind of active. So we get back onto the tractor. And there it is over there. Looking much better. He used quite a bit of fuel driving down here. I think we were on 100% before. There we go, fantastic, a grain cart. In other words, a trailer. Right, well, I think that is another objective well done, with the job completed. I will now check and see if any other quests have appeared. Uh, yeah, we're still towing that one, which doesn't seem... No, has it done the same thing? No? Okay, no idea. Yeah, that's the marker for us, isn't it? So, any other quests? No. There are no more quests available. So I would say then, we are now let loose to do what we want. So the first job is going to be to fill up the grain cart with wheat and sell that. Uh, but before we do that, I want to throw a bale into it and see if you actually can put the bales into it or if it's got like an invisible collision at the top of these sides which some games do sometimes. So uh, let me just set the marker to there so we know exactly where we're going to. Oh, it's still quite a long way. 2.4 kilometers. Joy. That's like 5 or 10 minutes or something. Yeah, 10 minutes. So I'll see you back at the farm with the bales. Okay, well, here we are. It did take a while. Um, but our field of bales should be... Well, it's over there. I can't see the bales, though. Maybe you have to be within a certain distance to actually be able to see objects like a bale. Which would make sense. So I should cut across, and hopefully we can actually get to them. There they are. Good. Yeah, I don't think they'll just disappear. Unless they do deteriorate over time. But that would be pretty fast. Um, so, yeah. Obviously nobody knows, except for the developers and publishers, 
what happens uh, if you put a bale in a trailer. Will it actually go in it or will it just sort of sit on top and look a bit weird? And then when you accelerate it, it will fall off. Let's just see. I have pretty high hopes for this, actually. I think it might go inside it like a proper trailer. Okay, let me just try and jump up there. Uh, can't, oh, I can't let go of it now. Uh, well, mm, it is actually sitting on top, by the look of it. Not something which could be... Uh, it could be, it, yeah, it could be uh, changed. Now that could effectively be standing, that could be sitting on the side. So if I can get in there and try and move it across, then it could work. But actually, even if it does just sit on the surface, who's to stop us from balancing them all off on top of there and taking them to the cell points? We probably could do. So yeah, that's just one thing which we've just learned. If that could be changed though, so you could actually maybe even put the sides down and put bales inside it, that would be absolutely fantastic. Having said this, there is a designated trailer for bales. So I, we're just trying to cut corners here really. Um, but no, that is uh, that is interesting to, to see. Right, let's see if we can... Oh no, 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 <laughs> I've just tipped the trailer. We want to fill this up with wheat. Wow. <laughs> oh. oh dear. I've just been covered in dust. Wow. And I probably should have dispersed that a bit. I like that though. It does only fill up where you've got it positioned. So it's mounted at the back. Quite impressive. Um, yes, yeah, so over to the cell point and let's go and get some money. It's about time. Okay, so the storage silos are just up here. You don't exactly put them in the silos, you just tip them in the cell point. But now we have a proper trailer to do this with, we can just drive through. Very simply. Whereas before I had to try and position the combine in the right place for the auger to open over the pit. And then, well, it did work actually, it wasn't too difficult. It's just having to cart with a combine wasn't exactly ideal. So being able to do it with the trailer now is much better. For those who haven't seen the episode where I, where I did this, there is actually another cell point up here. And that is the bale cell point. So you sell the grain and the bales at the same place, but you can also take the wheat. Actually, that is, that is a good point. You can take the wheat over to the mill and get a better price. It is quite a long way from here, though, as, as I showed you earlier. Well, as it's our first load and it's so local, we'll take this to here now. Uh, I guess we could take the second load over to the mill when we're going that way. Uh, before we do get there, there any, any more jobs? Anything else? I don't think so, no. So we've probably concluded the quest line at the moment. But who's to say? There could be more in the future. Yeah, for those who want to know where the bale cell point is, it's just underneath that shelter. You just drop them off in there and they should sell. And the grain cell point is just around the corner in here. Okay. So when we've sold it, we'll know exactly how much we've made to date. And it should be quite good. There we go. As you can see, it is selling. Not as good as the price of canola. But we did get the bales as well. 4,698 euros in total. So that is all pretty good news. Today has gone very swimmingly. Yes, I did just say that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.